how to make a portfolio website using WordPress. This step-by-step -step tutorial is going to show you how we can do this. And if it wasn't enough, I would be using Pantheon.io because we're going to be doing this totally for free. So let's jump right into it. The very first thing you need to do is to go into Pantheon.io. As you can see, I'm already in here. So what I want to do now is to focus in to get started in here. So now what I want to do is to fill all my information here and I want to agree to the Pantheon terms of use and hit into sign up. Once you have successfully done that, what's going to be helping you is going to be taking you into the dashboard of the Pantheon.io. So what you want to do is to get started by creating your very first site. And by doing that, I'm going to go into login once again. I'm going to hit into create your new site. And here what you want to do, you want to look out for your CMS site, which in our case is the WordPress. And here what I want to do is to very create my very first username so I can sign in to WordPress. And I'm going to go to United States, hit into continue. Once you have successfully done that, you can go back into your site and you should be seeing that your CMS site from the WordPress should now be created. So I'm going to go into site name. And then what I want to do is to locate the actual button that says the visit the development mode. So I'm going to jump into visit development site and it's going to be taking me here into WordPress. So now what I want to do is to start with the plugin. So if you want to get to start with the plugin, if you don't want to do this from scratch, uh, or if you wanted this from scratch, you want to go into the pages, add new, and then you can create your own portfolio. But here I'm going to be using some templates so we can do this a little bit more easier and faster. So let's go ahead and look out for the plugin section. And here I want to look out for add new. Now I want to locate my keyword search bar, which is actually in here. And I want to look out for themes. And it's going to be popping up a lot of plugins that I can use totally for free since we use Pantheon.io. In our case, we want to look out for the actual Elementor. Now, Elementor is going to go for active. I'm going to go ahead and click to install now. After that, you're going to go into active. So after you have successfully done that, what you want to do is to reload your page. And if you focused into the left part of your WordPress, you want to look out for Elementor. So here it is Elementor. What I want to do is to get into getting started. And it's going to be taking us into the Elementor section. So as you can see, we can go ahead and look out for create your first page. So once we have successfully done that, we can now start to edit our site. So here we are now into the Elementor editor. What I want to do is to get started. As you can see, this is my actual website that was created inside WordPress. And now here we have the Elementor section. So how can we get started? What you want to do first of all is to resist track what did here. I'm going to go for my elements. You here have the global and I can just drag and drop just as we did here before into the actual WordPress editor. For example, I can add an image. I can add an inner section. I'm going to go back here once again. There we go. And I'm just going to start to customizing this as I am creating more and more elements into my site. But once again, if you want to look out for a theme builder, I'm going to go back here and here I'm going to go for theme builder. And it's going to be popping up this new section of the theme section. So what I want to do is to look out for a header, a footer, single page, single post, achieved, service whole page, product, and much more. So now I'm going to head down into once again, templates of Elementor. You don't want to look out for page. I want to leave it like that. I'm going to go for a landing page actually. And here's the actual uh, name of my template. So what I want to do is to hit into welcome landing page and here to create my template. So now what we want to do is to look out for a template that we can use totally for free inside the Elementor hit into the plus mark and as you can see we do have a lot of categories here that we can choose speaking about landing page so if you choose the category let's say for example that i want to look out for my business or i'm going to leave it like that and look out for something that can be really accurate for me you just want to make sure that you are not using any pro type because it's going to be cost taking you a little bit of your budget so i want to scroll a little bit down and look out for something that's going to be really accurate for me let's say for example this one so what I want to do is to import the one that says insert. So take a look into the actual uh, website if it's actually right for you, if it's actually worthy. For example, this is just for promoting a page. So I think this is not going to be that worthy for us. So go into the category, look out for, let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to go and scroll a little bit down, have the products, social development, thank you page, travel. I'm going to head down for business. 
Now, as you can see, now we do have the pop-up of the actual template. So what I want to do, of course, is to start editing my actual portfolio. So for example, here, which says 10% of new customers, I want to delete here. And what I want to do is to type, let's say, for example, my portfolio. And here I have all about docs. Once again, I'm going to type the 2023 updated, something like that. There we go. So uh, as you can see, we can use a lot of elements here. We can customize on our own. So if I click, for example, into this slider, as you can see, we have this style. I can look out for advanced. And let's say, for example, that I want to change the background. So here, as you can see, we have the background typed. Let's go for classic or gradient, and you can choose one or another color. So um, after you have successfully done that, I'm going to focus now into the background. Let's say, for example, I want to choose an image and we have here our media library. So what I want to do is to either look out for one of those or start from scratch. For example, let's go from insert from URL and let's say that I want to go into Google and type for photography uh, wallpaper. So what's going to be really worthy for me is to take a really strong image that I can use for my actual website. Let's say, for example, this one or something a little bit more catchier like this. And then I'm going to go into copy the link of my image address, which is actually this one. I'm going to go back into my actual website that was been into the editor. I'm going to paste the URL and I'm going to head into the insert media. And boom, just like that, it's going to be updated my actual new image. So once again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with more images. If I do want to, I can totally recommend it to use your own images. But in my case, I'm going to be using just uh, a few that I have here into Google because uh, this is just a demonstration. I want you to look, guys, how it's going to be um, looking here, my actual portfolio. So I can even change the colors if I do want to. For example, here, I'm going to go for the edit the column. And here, I'm going to go for style. And I have this color. So let's say, if it, for example, I want to do something a little bit more minimalistic, for example, some white here or some black color like this. And then what I want to do is to change the actual content of my, of all the text right here. I'm going to go for edit. So um, what I want to do here is just to take my time and edit uh, a lot of stuff. I mean, it's really easy to use all these elements. I'll just show you how you can uh, delete and add more stuff. For example, here's the button, here's the animation. If you want to change an animation, I can click here and I want to get into advanced and I have the motion effects. So I can go for, let's say, for example, default, I'm going to go for fade in and automatically it's going to be popping up something like that. So we have, for example, this guy explore our uh, grooming services. Let's say here, I want to change that for about me. And what I just need to do is to edit all my elements that I have available here, which is, uh, I think it would be really, really uh, easy to do that. So once you successfully have done that, what you want to do is to look out for the pages, the site that you have edited here, get into published. And once you have successfully done that, you can take a look uh, live. So you can see that this one is actually not that hard to add your actual prompt and much more. So uh, with that being said, guys, I think we have reached into the very end of the video. The lightest part that you can do here is just to import all your information, your images, your videos, URLs, links, uh, social media, and be creative here into your actual uh, content. So I now show you how you can do this totally for free. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools about this great actual WordPress. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.